you do this? And that's pretty much how I eat. Just, you know, snap of the fingers and food's gone. But anyways, guys, welcome back to a vlog. I know I haven't done this in two months. In two months. I haven't vlogged in two months, so I don't really know how to do it. But some life updates for you if you're interested somehow in my life, which I guess you sort of are if you're watching this. Otherwise, I don't know why you're watching this. But um, I just finished my semester, um, first semester of year three at XKBU and I can't be more psyched for that. Now I'm just taking advantage of the freedom I have during my uh, holidays, the semester break, and I'm gonna basically work on videos, um, you know, make videos, meet friends, and make videos. So that's basically my plan for this um, 20 or so days holiday. But today is the 22nd of December, meaning we're only three days away from Christmas and apparently that's celebrated by a lot of people around the world. And so I'm gonna just document my life leading up to Christmas. Uh, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to go back to school tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. You'll see everything that happens. Uh, I did want to include a workout this morning. I'm still working out every day uh, to you know just trying to get one step closer to my ultimate goal of becoming another Cristiano Ronaldo. But uh, all jokes aside, uh, actually, I haven't been able to go out to the pitch to train for the past two days because uh, I had new boots on during my kick around on the past Saturday. Today is a Wednesday, and I got some. I got a pretty nasty blister, and I got an extra one today when I was playing bare feet. When I was juggling bare feet, I I kept telling myself, "Hey, you know why couldn't I like." You know, I'm such a spoiled brat, I have to play with boots. Like, how about those, uh, you know, those poor kids and, you know, guys like of my age who are playing bare feet, barefoot uh, in Brazil or Argentina or some other, like, you know, relatively poor uh, countries. And so I just kept on juggling. But, you know, my I don't have thick skin, uh, <laughs> that's for sure. And so I got a, like a little blister on one of my toes right now, which is not nice. But enough talk about the blisters. Today's video is gonna probably be the last video you're gonna see from me for, in 2021. And so I wanna make use of this chance to talk about something I'm quite passionate about. And that is goal setting. You know, the new year's coming around, you know, everyone's uh, probably gonna set uh, goals for the new year. But I've heard um, from quite a lot of like the, the people I watch on YouTube, um, basically on YouTube, yeah. And so people have various opinions, quite different ones actually, about uh, goal setting. Some say it's like, it's a great thing, you should go do it. Like as soon as the new year starts, you should do it. But some say like goal setting is BS, uh, it's a waste of time and yeah. So that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video as I take you through my three days leading up to um, Santa Claus giving out gifts, but he doesn't. Um, yeah, he doesn't give out gifts. Yesterday, in fact, was winter solstice. I just checked, um, 冬至 in Chinese, uh, is, in English, is winter solstice. So thanks to all my years of studying geography for nothing. Um, yeah, but tonight we're going out, my fam family's going out for a dinner buffet, um, at Marco Polo Hotel at Chim Sha Chui. Um, to celebrate that and so i'm gonna have a good time with my family and we'll talk more about goal setting then all right so we're here at marco polo hotel uh having dinner with the fam um we're men and women of culture gender equality and we're having a mixture of cuisines from different countries you know we've got japanese we've got you know seafood wherever that is like a mixture of east and west but um, let's talk about like why we need to set goals. And there's mainly two reasons. First of all, it's having clarity about your life. And secondly, it's about getting that source of motivation to push you to work towards something every day. Now, off the top of my head, I can already think of like two people. First being uh, two people who are big believers in goal setting. 
first one is Matt Sheldon from the Kama League. He, he's a professional soccer player, you know, I'm a huge fan of his. And since he was in high school, he already has this goal of being, becoming a professional soccer player. But this is the ultimate goal. How about in 10 years, in five years, how about in a year or even a month? You know, these are different goals during these different time slots. And so maybe in a month, you'll only be trying to get into the A team of his um, a soccer club. And then in a year, probably he wants to get into this college, this D1 college. So you've got to set out like different goals spread out throughout time. And that's why then you have clarity. You won't get lost like knowing, oh, what am I going to do like in a month or in a year? Now you have clarity. And then secondly, it's about getting that motivation. And Jin Hang from Jin Hang Shangguo Kung Tian is like a very good example of that. He, when he was back in high school, um, you know, Jin Hang was a very bright student. But then he went on stage during the assembly and he told everyone in front of the entire school that he was going to get top 10 in several subjects uh, in the Malaysian public exam. And now that he's told everyone his goals, if he doesn't achieve it, it's going to be embarrassing for him. And that's how he got his source to motivate him, to push through those tough days, during even 3, 4 a.m. during the night, and he'll still continue to work hard and study, because he knows he doesn't want to get embarrassed in front of all these people. Uh, and so that's why he has that source of motivation. And that's why we should set goals. But um, speaking of goals, here's my uh, cousin Vito. You've seen him in my previous soccer training sessions. How many goals are we gonna bang in uh, in the coming weekend? Uh, three, that one, that one. <laughs> yep, <laughs> three, Patrick. So uh, you've heard it from the man, Cristiano, or Cristiano Ronaldo, one of these, both of us. Um, Patrick, that's what we're gonna aim for. But we scored like, you know, we scored one, and we, we each scored one two weekends ago. So yeah, that should be that shouldn't be a problem. Three. Well, we've already scored one, right? So three shouldn't be too hard. Um, but yeah, that's that's it for now. We're gonna enjoy dinner with a fan and perhaps a food tour if you guys are somehow interested. A food tour. Finding Dory, finding food, you don't need that jungle fish. But today we are gonna eat some fish. And to start off, we've got this beautiful fish from, uh, some, they say somewhere in China. Uh, and uh, the, good, the good thing about this is that this has no bones. Because if you know me, I'm a big bone hater. And so, yeah, like, let's, let's give this a try. Gordon Ramsay style, no, Michael style. Pretty salty, mm -hmm. and uh, like it tastes like <laughs> it tastes like fish. Yeah, <laughs> so it's good. And uh, and you've got to mix in, you know, some some fruits. Some I mean, you gotta have that greens while you get those proteins in, you know. And, and so here's a mouthful of greens. Mm -hmm. And some pumpkin soup, just to mix it in. Tastes like... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's great. So, we just finished dinner and I don't know if you recognize, but this was the same exact yeah. same place back there, Harbor City. I don't know if you can see it. But one year ago, my mom and I, you know, during Christmas Eve, I made a vlog here. So, pretty uh, mind-blowing that it's, it's already been one year. So, I guess that's just how time goes. Fly spot. guys so just had a sesh out here on the pitch with my cousin Vito for about one and a half hour and now I'm gonna talk about why you shouldn't set goals why goals are complete BS and basically it's all about stress and anxiety if you don't achieve your goals then you start to blame yourself especially if you're someone that has high standards for yourself uh, say if you aim to have a thousand subscribers by the end of the year and you don't achieve that suddenly you become unhappy 
but it's all because you set this goal. If you have no goal at all, then you wouldn't have this like unnecessary, unnecessary um, depression or unhappiness. And one example is definitely Ali Abdel. He emphasizes that he only sets input goals. He aims only to try to put out two to three videos a week, but he never sets like any output goals, so, like achieving a million subscribers or two million subscribers, or exam, uh, achieving like how many marks of ranking, uh, getting whatever ranking. And so that's why um, goals are, a cup, you know, useless. But um, yeah, the sesh about the sesh, it was good. Uh, we did some. We did some passing. We mainly focused on shooting, a lot of shooting, in fact, and uh, yeah, just getting ready for the weekend, the game uh, on the weekend, and hopefully we bang in some goals. The plan for today is uh, I'll be going home, having breakfast. Later on, I'll be heading back to school for uh, the last MUN training session, MUN club training session of the semester, and. Um, Let's see how the day goes. So I'm back at my school right now, just finished doing an interview uh, in that building. I just came out of there uh, for this. It's very, very special something. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I don't want to, you know, I might not get it. So I don't, I don't want to tell you what it is about yet, but it's definitely uh, an opportunity um, to say the least. And that's why I've got the whole student's high thing going on. But uh, before I go on, before I go on, I've got to change my shoes because they're killing me. They're killing my feet. Wingardium Leviosa. Don't you love those days when you've got magical powers? Have you ever stopped beside the road to smell the rose of life? Take a breath now. Don't hold it in too long. Cause you might end up missing out on that short little song. She's saying, Got one life to live. She's singing, Ooh, you've got one life to live. Don't let it go. Ooh, you've got one life to live. She's singing, Ooh, you've got one life to live. Don't let it go. This, the renovation of the Hawson Hung campus, that could take a little while, at least five years, maybe. Got my suit back on just to, you know, get in the mood, but here's my personal take on goal setting. Goal setting could be right and it could be wrong, and that's all because of yin yang, yin and yang, the balance between two. It's something my dad always likes to talk about. It's something that even Ali Abdel realizes that, hey, maybe goals aren't completely bad, but it could be good as well. If you're a high achiever, goal setting could be bad. And I'm not telling you to like not completely not set any goals. You could set some linear goals. Linear not in the sense that it's easy, but in the sense that if you don't achieve those goals, it's fine. You could set out to, uh, you know, build this entire like huge, huge ass business, or you could you know, get whatever ranking in your exams at, in, at school. But if you don't achieve that, it's fine because you're a high achiever. Naturally, you're gonna do well in whatever you're gonna do. So it's fine if you don't uh, like actually achieve your goals, but still, uh, like I said, clarity and direction and motivation, that's all good. All the benefits of goals and you should still have goals so you know where you're headed to. Headed to. But like, if you don't achieve them, it's fine. But on the other hand, if you're if you're someone like me who is a waste man, and like if you're a waste man like myself, then goal setting is like crucial. It's like you have to set goals. Otherwise, you'll you know, time just flies by, it rockets by. Like I said earlier in the video, and you know you'll just be wasting time. And so you definitely need goals to really, you know, really put yourself, put set yourself on the right track. Put yourself back on to like grinding mode and that's something I try to do. That's why for the past two years I have set goals for myself. I didn't, I've even like put them up on my wall but you know just to remind myself that's something Jin Tang uh, talks about but uh, so far like I haven't like achieved all of them. In fact I'm quite far away from my goals but uh, that's because I'm a waste man. I, I actually procrastinate a lot and 
And so like my academic goals or like some ECA goals, hoping to win certain awards, scholarships, uh, I might not have achieved them, but at least with those goals, I could see like, hey, like two years have passed, like during, for, for each of these two years, 2019, 2020, like 2020 and 2021, like what have I done? Like I, I get to reflect on it. And so uh, for 2022, I also have goals. Um, definitely the first one would be to, you know, at Fudan, I really, that's something I couldn't be more excited about. I don't know if you can, I can't really contain my excitement when talking about this. Even during the interview just now, I, like I went on about like Fudan because I, I really know like how much this experience, even not going there yet, I already know how much this experience is gonna like, it's gonna be a life-changing experience. Um, trust me, like I'm telling myself. Um, so I'm really gonna try to walk out of my comfort zone to really put myself out there to the max um, when I go to Fudan, getting to know people, getting in, involved in all, all sorts of stuff and just being exposed to that really culture. I've seen in my bunch, my load of like, um, you know, top students like Jin Hang and everybody who's studying at like the top universities in China. And I can't, I just can't get more excited. I can't be more excited. I, I'm itching uh, to go there, to, to be surprised, to be like, wow because I know like just how great people over there can be. Uh, what with like the friends, the mainland friends I've already made, got, uh, I've been fortunate to make here in Hong Kong at school and in other universities, some of which I'll definitely be, will, will definitely be featured my friends uh, in future videos. So, you know, um, get, hi you know, get hyped up for that. But basically that's my spiel about goals. basically that's my spiel about goal setting like it depends on the type of person you are if you're if you're demanding on yourself then maybe set goals but then don't be too hard on yourself if you don't achieve them uh, so that you know you'll hopefully you can survive longer and you know won't just commit suicide it's nothing to joke about um, you know people who who have really ambitious goals and are high achievers when they don't achieve them you know this could be a very like a potential result uh, consequence but if you're a waste man like myself then you should definitely set goals to really you know focus and try to achieve something and you know figure out like like we always say the ultimate meaning of life uh, but yeah that's what I'm gonna talk about the, uh, the plan for the rest of the day uh, it's 1054 I'm gonna head back start heading back to, uh, to my place to my home and I'm gonna get a training session in. Not sure, don't don't think I'm gonna film it. And yeah, 24th, tonight is Christmas Eve. I, I forgot about that. Um, so I don't know what plans we have for tonight. Not a lot, I'm saying, uh, I think, but probably gonna get in some gaming with my uh, sister because it's been a while since we've gamed. Uh, we, our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu progress uh, has, been halt, uh, has been put to a halt since uh, the start of the semester. Well, uh, like, she hasn't been gaming. I have, like, I, I'm i gonna show you in another video um, where I beat the mainline story of Pokemon Sword. Um, so if you're interested in that, like, uh, comment down below and for my Billy Billy viewers, you know, put something up in the Dan Mu, you, you, Dan Mu, it's like, it's weird. It's talking in a mix of English and Putama. Like, put something up in, you know, up there in the Danmu, like, like say, ah, oh, we want to watch it or something. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm, you know what to do. So I'm gonna head home, and I'll see you in a bit. Hi right, guys. So today's the last day of the vlog. Um, today's Christmas Day. Last night uh, on Christmas Eve, we had dinner with the fam, and uh, <laughs> we had dinner with the fam. But uh, my cousins and my sister were gaming, but I was, you know, doing my own stuff. Um, yeah, like I told you, Fudan University just sent me my uh, their acceptance letter uh, for my exchange. Uh, you know, as an exchange student, they accepted me. So I just received that letter, absolutely buzzing. Best Christmas gift possibly. But um, yeah, just out here playing um, some footy with the boys, but uh, didn't score, conceded two. So that was not too great. Hopefully we could improve my cousins behind the camera. Hopefully we could improve next uh, weekend. But if nothing ex exciting happens for the rest of the day, this would be the end of the video. So do drop a like, comment, subscribe. And from Billy Billy viewers, you know what to do. Yi jian san lian. Okay. All right, guys. Merry Christmas. And to end it, I'm gonna hopefully bang it, bang it. That did not <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Alright guys, peace out.